Hi, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can use Terraform to create AWS VPC. We also will create the private subnet and public subnet. And in the next video I'm gonna show you how you can use a Terraform open source module to do exactly the same thing in one single resource. Let's get started. Let's create our main.tf file. And let's start by defining a provider AWS block and we're going to be using the US East one region in our account. And the first thing that you want to do is to define the VPC resource. So uh, you can follow this link and you can find more input parameters that you can use when you define your VPC and this is the case with uh, most of the resources that I will show you in this video and here you can see that uh, one of the input parameter is required like here cedar block and uh, most of them are optional so let's go back in the code and also so we specified only one cinder block and it's gonna be 10 0 0 0 18 and here we define the tag name main vpc and let's go ahead and create this resource uh, you can use terraform plant and also you can use terraform applied and in our case just to speed up the process i'm gonna use terraform apply with after proof Uh, let's create the VPC. Okay, it's created. Let's go to the console and verify that it was created. Let's refresh this page. And we can see that we have the main VPC. Okay, let's uh, continue and define uh, public subnet. So it's going to be the public subnet, AWS subnet resource, and we're going to call it public. And as always, you can use this link to uh, identify other input parameters that this block can accept. And this public subnet will contain uh, eventually the default route to Internet Gateway. And let's go ahead and create by running Terraform apply after proof. Right now, that public uh, subnet uh, have only one single default route that, and let me show you. So right now we just created the subnet and this is our public subnet. And for now it just has only one single route within that VPC. It's not public yet. So in order to make it public, we need to create the internet gateway and define the route, default route that uh, contain that internet gateway. Okay, and the next step would be to define the private subnet. So for now it's going to be the placeholder, but the main difference that here is that we're using the different cedar block. So this one is 10.0.0.0 and this one 10.0.1 and we're going to call it private subnet. And also here we need to specify the VPC ID and we can use our resource that we just created and we can use that as a variable main instead of uh, coming to um, AWS console and then copy and pasting this variable. So you can use uh, this resource directly. So it's called output variable of that resource. Okay, let's go ahead and create the private subnet. Okay, now it's created. And now we have two subnets. One of them is public and private. So the next step is to create a AWS Internet Gateway. And we're going to use this um, variable, the same variable, and we're going to call it main Internet Gateway. Let's create it. Okay, it was created and let's uh, let's go to the console and verify 
under the internet gateway you can see our main internet gateway and it was attached to our VPC. So let's uh, now create the elastic IP address uh, that will be used by NAT gateway. So this uh, internet gateway will be used by our public subnet and elastic IP address and NAT gateway will be used by our private subnet. So let's create uh, elastic IP address Okay, it was created and let's verify that it was created under Elastic IP. We have our NAT gateway, NAT uh, Elastic IP address. And the next step is to create NAT gateway. So the requirement for the NAT gateway that it has to be placed in the public subnet, in the subnet with internet gateway as a default route. So here we're going to specify our Elastic IP that was created just right now. And also we need to define the another variable for the public ID. So this comes from our public, from AWS public subnet ID. And let's create our NAT gateway. All right, it was created. And let's uh, take a look on our NAT gateway. And it's going to be here, our main NAT gateway. All right, the next step is to define the routing table for our public uh, subnet. So it's going to be the AWS route table. Uh, we're going to call it public. And here under the route, we will define the, uh, we will define the default route. And this is 000 slash 0, and it will uh, go to the AWS Internet Gateway that was created before. All right, and let's uh, associate this um, routing table with our public subnet. So here under this block, we need to define two variables. The first one is subnet ID, and this is going to be the uh, subnet ID for our public subnet and also the routing table ID and it's going to be here and that we just defined here. All right, let's create it. Okay, it was created. Let's take a look. And under the subnets, if we go to the public subnet and click on route table, we can see that Right now it has the routing table that we just created, public route table, and it has default route to Internet Gateway. And the private subnet does not have it yet. So let's go and create same thing for the private subnet. And instead of uh, defining default route to the Internet Gateway, we will define default route to the NAT Gateway. So this is resource for creating the routing table and here to associate this routing table with a subnet. Okay, let's create this. All right, it was created and let's uh, just take a look on the whole thing that we just created. So if we will refresh the page, we will see that now the private subnet has this default route to the NAT gateway. So to summarize, we just created the the VPC and we created two subnets, private subnet, public subnet. We also created two routing tables. One of them is a private routing table and the public route table. And this is default one. And also we created the internet gateway, this internet gateway and NAT gateway. NAT gateway and elastic IP address. Okay. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can use Terraform module uh, to define this exactly the same thing in only one resource. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.